You guys were asking me about the life in Austria, especially compared to Germany and Joanna even wrote Hi, I watched some of your videos and thought I will reach out to you. I'm from the US and just got offered a job in Europe. Maybe either Munich or some other city in Germany or Vienna. I don't know much about Austria besides that Vienna got awarded the most livable city several years in a row. Which sounds great. It's still a big decision though, so I kind of feel stuck and not sure what city would be the best fit for me. I would love to hear your opinion on this one. Joanna, my love, I can totally relate. And yes, moving abroad is a big choice, so I'm happy to share my experience. Although I want to say that my preferences might be completely different from yours, especially based on what's important to me and therefore I want you to really reflect and see if this might be true for you as well. Oh, and by the way, if you're new here, consider subscribing because I do new videos every Tuesday, mostly around creating a life abroad that you love. Okay, so let's dive in. First of all, all the cities that you mentioned are pretty exciting, so I don't think you can make a bad choice with any of them. I lived in both countries. In Germany, I lived in Bavaria, close to Munich, but it was a smaller city, which makes the experience a bit different. But I have to say, I'm very happy living in Vienna. And if you ask me, Austria or Germany, well, the answer is Austria or Vienna to be specific. Why? Here are my three top reasons why I wouldn't necessarily want to move back to Germany, even though I really like the culture. Okay, so first of all, Austrians are, at least in my opinion, more easygoing. If work-life balance is something that is important to you, then Austria might be a better choice, at least in my opinion. Now, you probably heard of countries or just preferences in people that either work to live or live to work. Of course, you will find both in both countries, but the average speaks for itself. Austrians value family time and therefore free time is something that cannot be traded or compromised. And that results in a general more relaxed feel to work and doing business in Austria. There is a small but though, and that but might not be so small if this is something that is important to you. Things might take a bit longer in Austria as well since, you know, nobody's in a hurry. On the other hand, if someone as impatient as me found peace with it, then you will probably too. Second one is that Austrians are more harmony oriented. And this depends pretty much on what is more important to you. Now, do you perceive conflict and direct communication as something that is important for you in order to work efficiently? Or do you tend to look for things in common and strive for a harmonious work and life environment? Now, I grew to value direct communication over the last years, especially living abroad. It has advantages, but I still watch my tone and tend to give more context, especially when communicating something that's not so pleasant for someone else to hear. And I kind of expect the same thing from other people. So if you ask me, then Austria definitely wins on this one. And the last one, Austria, especially Vienna, combined the modern with the old fashioned. And this is something you might not care about at all. But since I come from a rather traditional country, I do appreciate the fact that the men still can be gentlemen and that the values in the culture are still a bit more old-fashioned. Does that mean that Austria is far behind every innovation? Well, I don't think so. Austria has a huge startup scene and modern infrastructure and the quality of life is just amazing. So if you ask me, I think you can find the best of the world worlds in Austria and especially in Vienna. Now I would love to hear from you. So what are your experiences and how would you decide? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you have any questions, let me know. I would love to answer them in the following videos. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I catch you next week on Boundaryless.